Hey guys, GhostWar38, and today I'm bringing you an updated video on my Image Comics collection, as well as my thoughts a little bit on the company and some back information. Um, the four books you see here are from Image's first run, as well as the following. Um, from the first wave, they had Rob Liefeld's Young Blood, Eric Larson's Savage Dragon miniseries, which consisted of a three-issue miniseries, which followed up by a long-running series, which continues still to this day. Todd McFarlane's Spawn, which just recently made its 300th issue. Cat, get out of the frame. Stay. Stay, kitty cat. Uh, Jim Lee's... Wildcats, one of my personal favorites. Mark Silvestri's Cyber Force, I never really read that one, so I can't really give my thoughts about that one. And then Jim Valentino's Shadowhawk. At the time, there were six principal studios in Image Comics. Starting with uh, Liefeld's Extreme Studios, Larson's Highbrow Entertainment, Todd McFarlane Productions, Jim Lee's Wildstorm, Silvestri's Top Cow Productions, and Jim Valentino's Shadowline. Other books came out in the seer in in Image as well at the time. Some of which were. From Wildstorm, one title in particular was Gen 13, uh, Team 7, as well as Team 7. And other books, Wetworks, Witchblade, and many others. Some of them were successful, some of them were not so much. Um, the two ones that are mainstays currently, as of this year, I want to say is the Savage Dragon and Todd McFarlane's Spawn, which just celebrated its 300th ish issue earlier this month. And now they're going into issue 301 of Spawn as well. So yeah, a little background information for you folks on that. Um... Here's, I guess, part from their second wave. This is the trade, by the way, with the first five issues. But now to get into the meat and potatoes of the matter, I just wanted to show you guys my collection. And by the way, I'm actually sounding much better right now. I've been sleeping most of the day and taking medicine. And also sleep as well. Um, I guess just going things from here. Um... The trade from when I showed you my Wildcats collection, I replaced the packaging, as you can see. Put it in a proper bag. Put it in a proper bag. Young Blood, issue zero. I heard things get better after issue five. Can't really say for sure, but that's what I've heard. Um, 2006's Wildcats, Wild from Wildstorm. I've actually read this book. This is actually really quite good. Uh, Jim Lee is always fant uh, fantastic as an artist. Grant Morrison's a good writer. I mean, I've read some of his other work. Don't know what that sticker ever was. I'm probably that's just the fact. Manufacturing number, or maybe that was an inventory number. I don't know. I've never found that out. So anyway, there's that one. Um, an issue, one of a ten-issue miniseries. I have the first three issues. Grifter. The issue one of a second uh, setup of Team 7, Objective Hell, who lasted three issues, and then came up with a third miniseries as well, lasted three issues. I'm actually having the trade of Team 7, the first four, which last was as a first four issue miniseries, I'm getting a trade from that. It'll it looks like this. It's a purple cover, has Team Seven on the side, 
as a series name. Team 7, first four issues miniseries, so that'll be added to my collection there with trades. Um, you may notice some of my books are missing because last video I showed you guys I had a spawn trade. Well, a friend of mine actually really likes spawn, so I actually gave him my spawn collection. Um, that way I can get him interested in image. And also my last collection I showed you guys, I had like some doubles of wildcats. I lent him those as well, so if I can get him on the image, tra image train from at the time, maybe get him involved. So, yeah, that's why I'm missing some books. So, yeah, um, I'll just set my camera aside so I can brush those out of the way, then I can show you guys the rest of them. Get my trades out of the way. Oh, yeah, might as well show you something else. I just have to get it real quick. There we go. Okay. I also have some doubles as well. Um, hmm. And I have some doubles. Um, the Monster with N Arc, Part 1, Shadowhawk, Part 2, Issue 13. Issue zero, the kind of the beginning, which actually the beginning of the whole monster within arc was set up at the end. There was an end story in the Shadowhawk Gallery comic um, that kind of set this whole event up. And then, of course, it, there was this and then the whole five part arc with that one. Um, another copy of uh, Wildcats number zero. This was actually bound up with the uh, the trade. And I have two copies of this already, so um, I kind of gave it its own sleeve. And then, from DC's New 52, I have issue one of Team 7. And issue zero from Team 7. I bought these as a used comic shop. So yeah, there's those. Um, now to get into the others. Laying these out. Um, do, 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 do. First up, I'll be showing you guys is my Shadowhawk collection. I have the first four issues from the first mini series, issues one through four. I have issues one through three of Shadowhawk two, which there's actually a sequential order to this. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then Monster Within Arc, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 was the final run on Shadowhawk 3. And then it starts with the all-new Shadowhawk, which was another run entirely. You could have called that Shadowhawk 4, and then there was another one as well. Which just kind of was like Shadowhawk 5, and then, I don't know, that one's more concurrent role. I haven't really read that one book yet. I've just, read, I've just read the old ones. So there's those. And I have read all of these. At one point, at down the road, although I can't really say when, but I will be talking about this run from the character, especially the monster within arc, because there's a lot of stuff that goes on, a lot of interesting details. And I'd actually rather like to talk about it, considering I've not, I haven't seen anyone else talk about it on YouTube, so I might as well cover it. 
Anyway, here's the rest of my Shadowhawk comics. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Still missing issue 17, waiting on that to show up. Then 18. Then the prequel kind of sets the whole thing up. My Shadowhawk special, which I talked about in my previous video. I actually managed to read this, by the way. I'm actually thinking about doing a review on this. The Shadowhawk one-shot. And then the Shadowhawk gallery, which, by the way, at the end of this book, there is a sort of mini-story that talks about the whole Monster Within arc. So that sets that up. So there's my Shadowhawk set. Oh, and also, by the way, I found out in the Shadowhawk bundle that I'll be getting, there's another copy of the Shadowhawk special. So I'll be able to show both covers, one with the images of tomorrow cover, and then one with the images of today. And then the bulk of my set, which is still the first 25 issues of Jim Lee's Wildcats. Issue zero, that came with the set. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And then it'll, the last one will be 21 through 25, laying these out in no particular fashion, 21, like the cover though, to issue 21, that's nice, don't know who that is, I know she's obviously important somehow, Voodoo turned into uh, Daemonite somehow, there's Maul, and then there's Majestic with the others. 524, 23, 22, 21. And then that's my Sh Wildcats comics. And then the last part of my books. Um, Savage Dragon, issue 2 and 3. Team 7. Issue 2, I'm reading, I'm rereading Team 7 right now, so that's why you don't see issues 3 and 4 of the original series right now, because I'm reading them again. But I have all of those. Grifter 2 and 3. And the Shadowhawk Sourcebook, which is really just a bunch of character bios, essentially. After having gone through it. And then the special, which takes place during the... It's sort of like an in-between point in the shadow in the in the um, Wildcats timeline. It takes place after or before the events of Wildcats trilogy three, and then it's like sh like Wildcats fifteen, I believe. I don't know. I'll have to reread this. I'll actually do a little spotlight on this at some point. Um. All I know is I got a load coming in of Shadowhawk comics, which will be a complete reset of the first couple, two issues, and then some newer books that I don't have in my collection, plus an extra copy of Shadowhawk special. Um, so yeah, there's that. And that is my collection as things currently stand. But I'm curious, you're probably asking yourself, Ghost, what happened to some of your other books? Um, because like I said, I had at one point the a bunch of... Um, Spawn Comics, I'll explain what happened to those. I also had a couple issues of um, the ongoing Savage Dragon series. To be completely honest, I really wasn't a fan of it. Um, so I kind of just 
sold them to my friend when he gave when he wanted the Spawn comics. I just tossed them into him and said, "Here, you can have some others as well if you want them." He was like, "Cool, thanks." So I'm like, "No problem." Um, so yeah, that's really the extent of it. Uh, bruh, what else? Actually, that's really about it. Um, I'll just lay these in stacks. Well, I hope you like this little insight into image. At some point, I will probably make another update with this to show my new collection or just to show my new stuff in particular. But yeah, there's my pile. There's the of image books. Anyway, I hope you guys like this video. Um, comment below on here with your favorite image character or team. Doesn't matter. Just let me know if you're interested or not. Um, sorry, that's my cat. Being goofy. Uh... And I guess stay tuned, I'll have more image content for you in a little bit. Or later on in the week. I don't know. Depending on whenever that shipment shows up. Shipment. Sorry. Um, anyway. Uh, take care, and I will see you folks all next time. Peace.